um, I'm going to show you how to take apart a shirt. This is a man's 50-52, and I think most of the shirts, let me see what other shirt we have here. Double X, if you can see that here. Um, all of these shirts have some type of logo on them, or they've been embroidered with his initials. And that's really important for my customer. She wants every bear, and she ordered 12, so she wants every bear to have this logo um, involved or incorporated into the bear. So this is a long sleeve man shirt, and I'm gonna show you how I take these apart for my bears. That way I have maximum fabric per bear. So if you look at the seams, I try to follow that seam with my scissors all the way up. Now, you, you don't need to be perfect on this, but you want to be careful because you want to save as much fabric as you can. So here I have one sleeve. I always turn the sleeves inside out because I often use the sleeves for the pads of the bear paws or their, their ears where there's two sides. So I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to need to cut the other um, sleeve off. And you would follow these um, guidelines or, you know, cutting t rules, I guess, even for a short sleeve shirt, t-shirts and so forth. Again, I just pull it inside out. And now for the collar, these shirts happen to have collars. So I like to use or save the collar area. And I'm going to show you how I cut that. Um, because I've had customers later on, after the bear was completely sewn together, ask to have a collar placed on, and you don't ever want to demolish these collars because your customer may do that to you, and you would probably feel really bad if you hadn't saved the collar. And I just wanna say, this is an also an upsell suggestion in my book. So I'm gonna plug my book now. It's the ultimate guide for memory bear and sentimental sewing businesses where I show you how you can upsell from a memory bear and um, the upsell and the add-ons that help, you know, bring in some more income for you, but also make the memory bear more of a custom bear, I should say, uh, more personalized also. So it's a win-win for you and your customers. So what I like to do is I kind of take the collar down about an inch or so around. And again, it doesn't not, it does not have to be perfect right now. You want to keep this with the sleeves and now you'll see the shoulder seam so I try to take my scissors across that seam as even as I can and here are you able to see that seam here that's where I take these scissors and then I take the shirt like this and you'll see the side seam of a shirt. And make sure you do not have these together. Um, I made the mistake before of thinking that I could follow the seam straight down and that does not always work for your favor. So I take my time and cut these side seams separately. I go all the way down. I open up the shirt. Do you see these? Um, I don't keep these. I do not incorporate these into the bears unless it's made from a wool or alpaca sweater. And then I incorporate these because it has a washing instructions on it. Um, buttons, I keep all buttons because you can use those on the bears themselves or in a future project. So always save your buttons. Now that I have the shirt completely cut apart, I want to keep all of my shirt pieces together. So I'm gonna fold these together like this. Okay, and then here's the collar and both sleeves. And then I try to fold them into each other like this. And I set it to the side and I grab the next shirt and I go through the exact same process again. That way we keep, like I said, you wanna keep the collar because that's an upsell. You can add that to the bear. And if you follow along with the video tutorials, I'll show you how to do all the things to a bear. 
Um, you want to keep the sleeves, cut down the side seams and the shoulder seams, and keep the buttons. All right, guys, so this is one tutorial, and um, if you follow along, you'll want to make sure you subscribe, and you can join the free Facebook group that I have. Bye, guys.